and welcome to this evening's discussion, Appetite for Change, hosted by the Institute of Professional Engineers New Zealand and the New Zealand Institute of Food Science and Technology. My guests this evening are Chef Martin Bosley, Torben Sorensen, Food Engineer and Director of Sorensen Laboratories, Laura Vincent, Consumer Author and Food Blogger, and Jacqueline Roweth, uh, Professor of Agribusiness at University of Waikato and President of the New Zealand Grassland Association. The food is more plentiful, safer, more delicious and actually cheaper as a proportion of income than it has ever been. If you think about it, before, before we had food technology, people had to hunt, the whole of their life was looking for food. But it was only when in antiquity we began salting food, drying food, putting food in ice over the winter and having food to store that we could start to live together as communities. And we've perfected that by technology today so we can live in cities, we can have the arts, we can do things other than food that interest us. So I think while uh, it's, it's brilliant that people are focusing on where their food comes from and they're learning a lot more about it, and I think it is really important, uh, I still think it's really uh, incredibly important that the technology is there to allow you know, more accessibility for vegetables and fruit and food that people need. The trend today uh, is to try and prepare foods as naturally as possible. The rise of food television and the rise of food, pub you know, the rise of food publications has coincided at a time when people are actually cooking less and less themselves. Yes. Well, they're, they're, you know, we're actually, you know, we're doing, you know, we're not cooking from scratch as much no. anymore. There's, there's evidence to suggest that the, these fantastic things that people are doing on television are actually putting off people from trying it themselves because they know they won't be that good. I guess we've got to understand that, that the consumer today is really well informed, first of all. The difficulty for the consumer is that whatever view you may have as a consumer, you can have it supported if you look at the right place on Google or whatever. The general thing is that we are trying to create products uh, where we don't use food additives. Why are you on Twitter or Facebook? Um, it's a very important tool for us in terms of, uh, of we, you know, I share those stories before anybody else basically can, or I want to let people know what we're doing. I, I think that people are really interested in sharing knowledge with each other. You know, I think people like to be um, seen as being uh, as knowing things. You know what I mean? As um, having something to share with people. And I think that social media helps with that. People like to recommend what they know. It's almost like the new dinner party conversation is happening globally at the time they're eating. What do you see as the key trend emerging in your area in sort of agriculture in the next five years? What is it that's Accountability, absolutely accountability, being able to account for every unit of carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and all the rest of it. We're going to be working more at that end where ethics and, and sustainability and so on come into play and I think we, that, that will be some of the challenges that we'll be working with in the future. There'll just be more choice for everyone and it'll be a lot easier for people to have products that are better for the environment and better for themselves. Um, I think it'll be, it'll be the increase in farmers' markets. I think it'll, it'll be, uh, I'm with Jacqueline, it'll be accountability. People want to know where their food is coming from. They will be asking more questions and they will start asking those questions of their supermarkets, not just of their farmers' markets.